to gain a distinction, you will have to meet all the pass and the merit criteria we have already discussed, and four further distinction criteria. Distinction criteria one asks you to critically examine the scope, development and growth of entrepreneurial ventures. Critically examine means that you need to show that you can accurately assess the information available, make considered judgments using your knowledge and experience, and support this with evidence, which of course should be appropriately referenced. So you need to look at all the course materials provided by the college, read the recommended resources listed on the last page of the unit specification, and then also conduct your own research and background reading. To answer this question, you need to identify several entrepreneurial ventures and then consider their scope. So what exactly did they set out to do? What need are they fulfilling? Then think about their development or the journey they have taken to get them to where they are today. Perhaps examining the, the successes and the problems they have encountered along the way. And then how how the ventures have grown over time. Could they have grown faster? Should they have grown more slowly or in a different direction? Give us your opinions. The second distinction criteria for Unit 9 asks you to critically examine how small businesses have an impact on different levels of the economy, local, regional, national and in an international context. Similar to the pass and the merit criteria for this learning outcome, except that now, of course, you have to provide more depth in your critical analysis. You need to address, in turn, the impact small businesses have on the local, regional, national and international economies. Distinction criteria three asks you to analyse the characteristic traits, skills and motivational drivers of successful entrepreneurs supported by specific examples. So this really builds on the PASS criteria 5, which asks you to identify traits and skills of successful entrepreneurs. Now you need to go into more depth. You also need to analyse their motivational drivers and include specific examples of successful entrepreneurs which support your analysis. To meet the final distinction criteria, you need to critically evaluate how background and experience influences entrepreneurs both positively and negatively by comparing and contrasting examples. Here again you need to provide a critical evaluation. You need to consider both the positive and the negative influence an entrepreneur's background and experience can have. And of course you need to provide some entrepreneurial examples to support your evaluation. Finally, three tips you should keep in mind when writing your assignments. First of all, make sure that you sense check and spell check your assignments before you submit them. Correct spelling and grammar aid understanding of your key points, but also they, they demonstrate that you care about what you're writing. Secondly, Take every opportunity to showcase your knowledge and understanding of the core concepts, models and theories in the unit, and then demonstrate your ability to apply them. And thirdly, keep close to your tutor for support and guidance.
Unit 9, Lecture 9, and retake of the very last bit. About three things to keep in mind. <coughs> Finally, three tips you should keep in mind when writing your assignments. First of all, make sure that you sense check and spell check your assignments before you submit them. Correct spelling and grammar aid understanding of your key points, but also they, they demonstrate that you care about what you're writing. Secondly, take every opportunity to showcase your knowledge and understanding of the core concepts, models and theories in the unit, and then demonstrate your ability to apply them. And thirdly, keep close to your tutor for support and guidance. <laughs> <laughs>